Going carnivore in Thailand, coffee time. It's a beautiful rainy morning here. It rained ever since I got up. It just now stopped, so I came outside to do a video. Before we get started with the carnivore results, I'd like to ask you to hit that like button. And there's going to be some stories towards the end of this video. There's going to be some talk about pre-retirement and what I did wrong in my pre-retirement, how I should have done it better. But first, press that like button. Subscribe if you can't, haven't done so already. If you have, I thank you very much. Trying to get this channel to grow, and that like button does a lot Plus, how long you watch a video. If the video stinks, please excuse me, but don't click off of it early. I mean, like, if you have to go to the bathroom, just leave the video, run, go to the bathroom, come back in 15 minutes, and, and it'll be done, I guess. Okay. Have you clicked that like button yet? I'm really trying to build a community here, and it's tough as hell. And it takes a lot of time making these videos. You know, uh, time something us old guys has less of than, than you younger people. Mm, some good coffee. Okay, let's talk a little bit about carnivore. The scale's still lying to me, although these shirts do not. Look at this. This shirt used to be tight. I mean, it used to be tight. Now look. I'm telling you, this thing was, was when I got it, it was like this, tight. Couldn't have pulled it up a bit. Now it's loose. But the scale, it still lies and says I'm not losing much more weight than I did when I first started. Now yesterday, I had about this much steak left from the night before, ribeye. So in the morning, I had five eggs scrambled, a little pepper on them, a little hot sauce on them, and I ate the rest of that ribeye with the five eggs. In reality, I ate all the ribeye, but I left about one of the eggs. I didn't even eat it all because I felt full at the time. Did that around 12.30 in the afternoon. Now, we had more steaks in the refrigerator, which had already been sous vide, which we've been sous vide in for 24 hours. And uh, in the evening, I decided to go with the smaller strip steak. The strip steak is smaller, it's leaner, it has a little less fat on it, but I will report that it was delicious and I ate every single piece of that steak, fat and all. Uh, and to be honest, I could have ate a little more steak. But I didn't. Then about two hours later, I had a few pieces of ham, maybe about four pieces of, of ham, a couple pieces of cheese rolled up into to like rolls. And uh, that took away the rest of the appetite. Now, Noy has been working on this dehydrated pork and she's been putting the pork out in the sun and letting the pork dry and then she fries it on a, in the skillet over gas and it is delicious. Back to the carnivore. I, uh, I could have ate a little more steak in the evening. I didn't. The ham took away the, the extra taste. Oh, 
we were talking about noise. She was been drying these. Now we don't have a electric meat dehydrator. She puts them out in the sun. And she forgot. She put them out and she left them out and they got rained on. Don't think it'll hurt anything because then she fries them up real good anyway. She says that's the way they do it when they do it up in Isan area in the rural. So we'll let that try. Maybe we'll get an electric dehydrator so she can dehydrate some of that pork. But man, it tastes good. It's almost as good as bacon. Almost. What's as good as bacon? I don't know. There's very few people, unless they're vegan, that says they hate bacon. Now, interesting little tidbit. When I met Noy, I mentioned getting some bacon. She had never, she's had all this pork her whole life. Bacon's not something they eat. It just, she had never in her life had bacon. She loves it now, but she never had bacon before. Isn't that weird? That's all, folks.